My name is Anega Montoya. <laughs> you killed my father. Prepare to die. My name is Tobin Ellis, and uh, that doesn't really matter because I'm actually here today to brag on my friends. Um, this is going to be fun. Um, but just as it may be relevant to today's topic, um, I have this company in Las Vegas. It's called Bar Magic of Las Vegas. Helps me remember where I live. And uh, I started in 1994, but didn't give it the name until 97. It started with, prophetically enough, behind bars. Um, in 1997, barmagic.com went on the internet in April of 1997. It was the world's first website solely devoted to flair bartending. At the same time, it was my company, which took me 10 years to figure out how to actually make a living from, in full on everything in consulting. Uh, I'm talking about like union reclassifications and pro forma and CAD drawings and all that good stuff. Um, in that same year, 1997, I was uh, very lucky, in my opinion, to meet up with some cats from around the world, and we put together this little thing called the FBA, which is the Flair Bartenders Association. And I was the co-founder and the first president of that for four years. And one of the first things I did with the FBA was to make the motto for the organization. And that motto has been, and always still is, service first, flair second, Competition always. <laughs> Our other sort of mantra that we went through, we did a video on, it was called It's All About the Drink. For the last 20 years of my life, I have tried to do one thing and one thing only, and I'm really still working on that, and that's to have the people that come into any bar that I work at try not to throw me into a box and just have a good time and go, you know what? That person's having fun. This, this bartender's taking care of me. However I choose to do that, as long as I'm looking them in the eye and smiling and rocking out the drinks and doing everything else, I, I don't know that it matters. But I need your permission to get into this topic today. I need two things from you guys. Number one, I need your permission to speak the bartender vernacular and to drop the F-bomb every once in a while. Is that cool? Is that all right? Fuck yeah. OK, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and they need to do that, too. Secondly, I need your permission to whatever ideas you walked into this room with, whether you love flair or hate flair, are up to your eyeballs in hearing about the starch content of potatoes in vodka or anywhere else in between, just leave it all at the door and let's have a different kind of discussion today. So um, let's, well, let's, let's look at some bartenders and see where we're going with this. I'm not sure if we should talk first about the mixologist or the flair bartender to try to get to the meat of all this. So, um, this is mixologist or flair bartender. Which is that? Is that mixologist or flair bartender? On both sides of the fence, there are people that are making the profession that style of bartending look amazing and people are making it horrible. And on a horrible side, it's people that are forgetting why we're behind the bar. Behind the bar for people who are against the pain the bar, not to our own egos or anything else. But for me, it's just so much fun, and I think that when you're having fun, your drinks are going to taste better, too, just because people like to see it. And, you know, if, you, if it's going to be 4D, and you do a little thing of flair, and now people are watching, and you're like, I can wait a next second because you're entertaining. So. It becomes much more about the, 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 the relationship. Yeah, it's actually, it's a it's a a that's what it is. It actually becomes a warm. Yeah, it's going go back to uh, the whole having a good time. You know? It's gotten to the point right now where I I feel like going. You know, it's not to show up. It's not my cool. It's a weapon. It's a tool. And you use it at the right time and place. And you use it expertly and put it back. How do you guys suggest we uh, teach or convince the uh, average amount of bartenders to start changing their ideas of philosophy? We're talking about the average chain bartenders. I'm going to